Today, I would like to unpack kindness or being kind. It seems to be lost today, right? We are totally the opposite. We're mean to people, especially when you go and look on social media. But God expects us to be kind. Check the scripture out. Ephesians 4 and 32 says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you and he forgave me. I just read uh, where Jim Harbaugh, the head coach of the Baltimore Ravens, went to a charity event to help raise money for struggling restaurants. But when they left, they ended up paying everyone's bill. That's very kind. Darius Rucker, a few months ago, maybe a month ago, was at IHOP. And he paid everyone's bill that was there dining. That's kindness. But kindness not always have to involve money. A kind word, the Bible says, turns away wrath. Sometimes just saying something kind and nice to people. The Lord bless you. Or you, you look nice today. You know, just offering a kind word is important. Just saying something very generous or, 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 or loving to somebody. Being kind is important. Listen to this. Galatians 6 and 10 says, therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, especially those who belong to the family of God. Luke 6 and 35 says, but love your enemies, do good to them and, and, and lend to them without expecting anything back. Then your reward will be great and you will be called children of the most high God. Listen, it's easy to be kind to those that are kind to you. It's easy to love those that love you. But can you love those that talk about you? Can you be kind to those that says awful things about you, that tweet bad things about you, that post bad things about you? Can you be kind? God offers something very special. He says, the reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High because he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. He's kind to us. He shows us grace each and every day, mercy every morning. It's new, right? Because we always do something awful and bad called sin. If we want to change or see this world change, we as believers, Christians, let's show kindness. Let's show people what that looks like, especially those to the, to, that belong to the family of God. And then when you do that for, to an enemy, when you are kind to someone who, who's not kind to you, it messes them up. It blows them away. So I challenge you today, as you unpack this kindness, be kind to someone. Maybe you buy them a coffee at Starbucks. Maybe you're in the drive-thru and say, I want to pay for the car behind me. Do something nice or just at work or at school, wherever you are, say something kind to somebody because a kind word turns away wrath. Will you be kind? Will you show that and reflect Jesus Christ in the act of kindness today? I hope you will. I hope you'll be kind. I hope you'll blow somebody's mind. Somebody that don't expect it from you because they know they treated you wrong. Be kind to somebody today. Now let's go and unpack that.